Time for another movie re review. And this time we're doing DOA, Dead or Alive. Um, for some reason it's called DOA, Dead or Alive. I guess, just, I think there are some movies that are called Dead or Alive. Uh, I don't quite know why it has that moniker, even though it's just, it just could be just Dead or Alive. But, yeah. It's, um... I wouldn't say it was the worst fighting game movie. It, it's one of those things where it, it definitely, it's def they definitely have watched, or at least watched or played the games. Like the characters, well, I'm not the biggest Dead or Alive fan, I'll be honest. Um, weirdly, I never really got into it. I mostly, the one I probably played the most is 5. Played on PS3 a bit, and... Uh, there was a Vita version, I think. I have six. I still have not played six. Um, probably like most people, or just haven't bought six. Because I remember the whole, well, the whole costumes problem and the game just being, you know, a lesser version of five. Uh, to put it bluntly, uh, there's problems with it. Anyway, we're not talking about those. We're talking about Dead or Alive, which, yeah, like I said, it's definitely not the worst one. It definitely has problems. It's kind of amusing. I mean, they, they, they definitely looks good as a film. Like, you can clearly tell they spent some money on it. And, yeah, they know... Well, at least the characters look like the characters. I mean, what would... Do, you know. Uh, let me hold up the film I'm going to be talking about next. Yeah, if I, I covered that up... Would you see those characters? Would you know who the fuck they are? No, you fucking wouldn't. Like, yeah, okay, these characters aren't in their quite iconic outfits, but I could cover that up and you're like, oh, okay, that's uh, you know, those characters. Like, if I told you this is, or, or if I said this is a dead or alive film, you'd be like, okay, that's that's clearly that, that's clearly that, that's clearly that. And you're like, okay, cool. If I told you that this is a King of Fighters movie, I mean, you guys got Flame Fist, but <laughs> come on. Fucking no. And Iori. I mean, no. Just, just no. Whereas, yeah, you got, the, you got the characters on there. This is a... Weirdly a Spanish copy. I don't know why this was the one... I, I, it happens time to time. Because I live in Europe. Sometimes the different... different. It's normally Germans. It's normally Germans. I get a lot of German copies of films. Just because that's the cheapest version. and Or, the, or that's the one that's only available. A Spanish copy of Blu-ray and DVD. Probably won't ever touch the DVD, but it's there. I have it. Um. Yeah. Dead or alive. But like I said, I've never seen it personally. Um. It's not. Like I've never. I know. Well, I never really played the game, so I have played. played I've watched the movie. I've done a whole commentary. Um. I'm going mad. But, yeah, I've never really personally been that into the games. This one... It, it sets up a lot, a lot of the characters. You know, with a character missing. I'm going to look up the names now, because I've forgotten half the names. Why is the purple-haired lady... Why is she... I mean, she's not white, but... Uh, you're just like, really? Um, yeah, that's the one. Uh, you're just like, yeah, it's Norwegian. And you're just like, really? But there's like, whole Asian place, and you're like, no, no, she is definitely part of it. And you're like, really? This, this doesn't quite fit. It's just like... Yeah, I don't know. Those ones like that doesn't know. Um, yeah, you have. Yeah, obviously this huge kind of, I guess Chinese temple. Yeah, Chinese temple because this is shot in China, which I just learned about. Um, because looks at the Wikipedia page. Um, obviously, yeah, it definitely gives off that vibe. And it looks like great as a set. So they probably saved a bit of money because they shot in China. Um, 
and yeah, we have a, a princess on the run who who is uh, Kasumi, which I, I recognize that name. She weirdly jumps out of the place, but yeah, has a always had a uh, a fucking whole oh, flying. Not like it's not like a um, parachute, but it's like one of those gliders. It's like she just had that on her all, the whole time. Really? Really? She, she's the one? I mean, the other ones are like uh, Tina Armstrong, um, professional wrestler, which, I'll be honest, one of my favorite bits in the, mo- in the whole film was her and her dad, where her dad breaks in uh, to be like, we're going to fight. And then she's in the bed with another woman. And her dad's like, oh, I do apologize. It looks like my daughter is here with another a woman. Uh, well, you enjoy your time with this woman. And uh, I will see you later. I don't know why. A why in my head. She sound, he sounds like Frogghorn Leghorn. Because I guess that's my that's where my southern voice is going currently. I do not know why this is where it goes, but uh Yeah, this is this is where it's going at the moment. Um Yeah. It's it's, it's one of those things I'm like, that's kinda wholesome. Uh <laughs> Um what's the other, the other one is Uh Oh yeah. You've got uh, Christy Allen. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look up characters. I'm like, H- wait, what has? Oh, yeah, Christy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know Dead or Alive characters that well. Okay, well, she doesn't look that that right. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah, no, she's not. That's not the one. Uh, or, yeah, no, it's one. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at it, it's like, what? they could have given another white hair. Anyway. Again, like I said, I don't know Dead or Alive that well. They basically have the whole tournament basically organised by Helena and her dad. Not dad. No, it's it's the guy who's kind of who was like friends with her dad, but I think I think he was alluded to they killed him, but yeah. Uh, a whole island, which who's played by um, Eric Roberts, which is you you know it's a good seal of approval for a film when Eric Roberts is in it, and by that I mean it not at all. Um, <laughs> just like no, not at all. But uh, yeah, you have you have Tina Armstrong where she gets attacked by uh, uh Liu Kang and her friend. And his friends, um, because when she was definitely falling on hard times, suddenly he's like in the start of the film, and then that's it. It's like, what happened to you, man? You used to be like the main actor of these kind of films, and now you're just like, hey, I'm here, and I'm gone. Oh, okay. Yeah, they all go to the island, all the hangouts. It is then turned into a tournament, which is like oh, finally, because sometimes. These films, well, they're supposed to be tournaments, and they kind of just kind of either allude to it. There's a bit of tournament, or just don't go. Man, yeah, this, this is a tournament. This is actually a tournament. And I'm like, great, that's what I wanted. I want a tournament. I like a tournament. Um, and obviously, Eric Roberts is evil, or I should say, Donovan. He's evil. Um, his whole plan. Spoilers. Is to make evil sunglasses that steal people's moves. You can download stuff. It's it falls apart right at the end. It really does. It falls just right apart. You like. He's he's got sunglasses because uh, everyone's injected with nano machines. Also, I should mention this film is literally just. I mean, it does show a lot of very attractive women. And men as well. Can't tell cat. So, you know, if you like that kind of thing. I don't know who would. Um, not me. <laughs> Disgusting, people. Um, yeah, there's a whole plot. The, the weird nerd who falls in love with Helena and then eventually gets with Helena, which is good for him. I feel like he's maybe the writer's insert. Uh... <laughs> Uh, you have other characters. No one really cares. Uh, uh, 
yeah, you got this guy Max, who's Christie's partner, who portrayed her. He, no, he, yeah, he portrayed her, but he's not like a main character in Dead or Alive or anything. He's just there, but he's weirdly the main character. I guess they were like, we need more men, but not the main guys. He's got like Zach in there, and yeah, like I said, Bass Armstrong. They're there. They're certainly there. Um. Yeah, this is this a whole tournament island? Like I said, the whole set looks like it looks really good. They definitely, they definitely got spent some money on this, which yeah, was de to their detriment because it didn't do well at all. They do have a beach volleyball scene because of course you do. <laughs> which again, it feels like they actually paid attention to the games, which is what I love. I love that. I love that they paid attention to the games. Um, Elena has a secret code on her body, which is literally just... You hold it to, up to a mirror. It's like tattooed on her. I hold it up to a mirror. It's like, oh, that's the secret code. It's like, really? Really? That's the, that's the decryption you had to do? Really? Yeah, the, the whole point is to try and find... Uh, Heate. Heate? Yeah. Who's been kidnapped? Who Kasumi's trying to track down, and eventually find him? Yay! Yay! And then the island blows up. Pretty much, they all have to escape. They don't get to save the money. Ooh, because Eric Roberts is evil, and then that's the end of the film. And then they kind of set it up. Basically, this is the end of the film. They're all just like there on the stairs like the, this is the, the shot from the end of the film like hey and then they kind of set up a sequel but this film bombed like bombed it did not make even like a third of its budget so no one touched it and no one has touched it since especially since I guess the Dead or Alive franchise is now Ooh, it's, it's, it might be a little dead oh, I just hit my microphone um, yeah, Dead or Alive is probably, probably dead for a while, I think. I don't think it's coming back anytime soon. Even though I would like it to come back. Or at least a collection. Give me a collection. I, it is the thing with fighting games. Fighting games, do, yeah, unless you're the, like, arcade games. You rarely ever get a collection of fighting games. Tekken? No. Fucking Marvel vs. Capcom? No. Street Fighter? Yeah, but it's, again, just the arcade releases. So many of them are like... Ugh. I mean, yeah, the only ones you get is like King of Fighters. Not really, like... You don't always get a collection, because they just released... The, but you still get the arcade ROMs, so you can still play pretty much every King of Fighters game. So... There's that. Yeah. It's a film. It's alright. Some, some very attractive ladies in it. So... If you want to watch very attractive ladies for 80 minutes... You could do worse. You certainly could do worse. Is all I'm saying. Um, the fighting is pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say there's, there's nothing I'm like, oh, that looks a little bit... Mm. But, pretty good fighting. Attractive people. Eric Roberts. What's not to love? Yeah, I'd say it's, it's definitely worth a watch. Yeah, maybe watch it with some friends. Make It's a little silly. Uh, yeah, what fine game movie isn't a little bit silly? So, uh, yeah, I think that's enough for me. I'm gonna prepare myself to talk about King of Fighters. For uh, <laughs> now, I say, live long and prosper. Bye for now. <laughs>